Hello and welcome back to Ebenezer Cottage Garden. Now I know what you're thinking, what's with all the arrows on the thumbnail? But what is with all the arrows? Why does every thumbnail at the minute have an arrow? I don't know, just thought I'd give it a try. If you're new here, my name's Lawrence and here's a few of the projects I'll be doing this summer. This whole space here, which looks like a bit of a barren wasteland at the moment, is gonna be one really long greenhouse. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm gonna have this done in the next month or so, so I can get growing some plants in here. Cause I've got ideas of pineapples, tomatoes, melons, cucumbers, all sorts of things we can get going in there. So fingers crossed, we'll get that one sorted. And here I've got the start of my micro vineyard. I've got a variety called Bacchus here, which grows really well in the UK. There's about 10 vines in total, so I need to build the trellis for them to go up. Hopefully I'll do that soon, but after the greenhouse project, and fingers crossed, we'll have some nice grapes going this year. And this area here is all going to be my orchard. And the plan is to have the grass grow quite high, have wildflowers in the mix to attract pollinators. And the varieties, I want to have things like mulberries, almonds, peaches, something that's just a little bit different. I think this is going to be a really nice place to sit out and have a picnic when it's done. And one day I'll get round to finishing painting this fence. It's been a few years now. So if you want to join me on those projects this summer, just hit subscribe and like this video. But for today, we're gonna to be looking at sowing some vegetables. I love growing vegetables. It's just so satisfying to know that you're growing food to feed yourself and your family. You can see I've already made a start, things like these onion sets here, which are starting to shoot and sow some green. I've got some onions, which are started from seed and a few other bits, but let's see what's in my magic box and what we can get sowed today. It's definitely worth getting yourself a good quality box for your seeds. I use a wine box. But there's all sorts of things you could use, so long as it's nice and dry, keeps the seeds safe, that's the main thing. So I like to sort mine by kind of seeds. So you can see I've got brassicas here, alliums, cucurbits, herbs, salads and leafy veg. However you like to organise it is great. But let's have a little look through. I don't think I'm going to be doing tomatoes now. I'm going to wait until next weekend for those. But I'm definitely going to get going on some brassicas. So I've already taken a moment to fill these module trays with some sieved compost. And with the module trays themselves, they're really hard plastic, um, which means they're gonna last me for years, possibly a lifetime. And these ones are actually bought off Charles Dowding himself and he handed them over to me. So I'm hoping that his, uh, you know, some of his magic's rubbed off on them. But to start with, let's get sowing some chard. I personally really like to grow the white variety of chard rather than the rainbow chard. I don't know why, uh, I think it's a flavour thing. I think I just slightly prefer the flavour. Really interesting seeds actually. They're one of those where you actually get in one seed a cluster of seeds themselves. They're like little asteroids. So from one seed you might find that you get four or five plants pop up. Swiss chard are one of those seeds that telling myself I don't need to label them. Well that's the chard sowed now. Let's see what else I'm going to be sowing today. So cauliflower all year round, amazing variety, really reliable. If you haven't got a lot of space they're nice dwarf plants as well which is great. Tuscan kale, that one is amazing if you want to make kale chips. So if you've got an air fryer or anything like that and you want to make a healthy alternative to crisps, this is really good. I've tried a few different kales, but that one seems to have the best flavor. Some Calabrese broccoli, speaks for itself, classic. Rocket, excellent in salads, but also in cooking. I might do a little bit of cooking with Rocket on this channel uh, a bit later on. And then I've just got a mixture of leaves, and I think, or well, salad leaves, I think that's gonna get me going for now. And then next week will be when I'll bring in the tomatoes and all the rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sew these up and then we've got a couple of other little projects to look at today. Thank you. 
This is quite a fun and exciting project. I've got some Taunton Dean perennial kale here, which I've taken as cuttings. And I can see that I think two have done quite well. Um, I think this one's probably failed. Let's have a look at the roots and see what they're looking like. Yeah, I think these can be moved on. There's a nice bit of root structure there. And on this other side, the same here, which is encouraging to see. This one, I'm thinking, has definitely failed. I can't see any roots there. But two out of three, that's not a bad little strike rate. And these are lovely plants that you can keep going. So, you know, every year keep on taking cuttings. They're quite rare to buy, really. You have to get these on eBay, these two bits. But let's get them potted up. Over to the surgeon's table. Let's have a look. So you can really see the compost is coming away quite easily. Um, yeah, this one definitely failed. You can tell that it's even a little bit hollow and mushy feeling at the bottom. But these two, as I say, nice little root systems, which I'll just tease apart and they should take really well now and get going. So let's get them potted up. So I'm here ready with my two cuttings, two pots and some compost. So I think these are gonna be a really fun variety because they're quite prolific in winter too from my understanding um, you see quite a few people going out in their gardens in winter and this is one of the only things you know unless you're organized that's uh, producing food for you so we'll get them potted up and I think they're going to continue to get stronger and stronger and ready to go out in the garden Well, if you've enjoyed today's video, do like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.